So the next thing to do is to install my guide and get some lead wires on this car. Hopefully you've seen my previous video where I went about showing you how to prepare a guide. Well, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link on the screen now. But I really like these guide nuts. These are Samson guide nuts. Um, they were the originals. I think they were out even before the JK ones. Um, I, they're, they're really nicely made. They fit on the, on the post really nicely. Um, he does brass ones as well as uh, aluminium ones. And I've also got some lightweight ones which have been turned down a bit. Um, I've got to do a video on turning these down because I want some more lightweight ones. Now, generally with one of these production cars, you need to get the front as low as possible. So don't want any guide washers on it. But I'm going to put the guide washers just on top there in case I do come to a track that's got a deep recess. And remember, when you've seen my previous video, you'll know why I'm putting guide washers on top. So I start my guide now off, use my special tool, tighten it down, back it off. So you want to back it off till it's loose enough, it doesn't jam, doesn't hang up anywhere, just back it off a fraction more. There we go. So it should be, should be free like that to wobble without getting jammed and stuck. That's the back of the lead wires done. Now to attach them to the guide. If you haven't seen it already, I do recommend that you watch my how to solder lead wires to a slot car video. Again, I'll put a link on the screen now. But it goes through all how you prepare your guide plates for soldering, how you do your neat solder joints, etc. So let's get around to finishing off these front lead wires. So that's lead wires done. They should move nicely. Spring the guide back to the centre position. Notice they don't kink up, so if I turn it like that they stay nice and flat. You don't want your lead wires to stick up in the air or stick down and onto the track. So they should stay nice and flat and low on the chassis. Now sometimes with these open 24 chassis or 24 chassis with, with holes in I should say, is I sometimes glue the lead wires to the chassis with a little bit of super glue. But again, check your rules, make sure you're allowed to do that. That seems to be acceptable to do in ISRA style racing. So I'm going to put a little bit of super glue just to hold the back of these lead wires down onto the chassis to stop any chance of them poking through the centre hole. So with the lead wires glued in place, they're not moving now. That's where we're going to leave it for today. Well, there's only one thing left and that's chassis setup. So I hope you'll join me next time when we go through the final setup of the chassis to make it ready for racing. See you again soon.
Thank you for watching. Bye.